Imagine being catapulted into an understanding so profound that it transforms your very essence it's the kind of wisdom that disrupts the ordinariness of everyday life. It's about realizing the scale of our planet, of our existence, and how we relate to the unfathomable vastness of the cosmos. What you're about to hear is bound to shift how you perceive yourself and the world around you. This revelation will stir your soul, challenge your perceptions, and awaken a sense of unity with the universe that you never knew was possible. Shall we venture together into this cosmic journey? Gaze into the night sky, where stars sprinkle light across the infinite canvas of space, and here this or Earth is but a speck, a solitary orb dancing in the sun's rays. Everything we've ever known, every story told, and every life lived has unfurled upon this tiny stage amidst an immeasurable auditorium. Contemplate the valor, art, power, and love that have risen and fallen over Ian each episode a fleeting triumph over this solitary grain we call home. Beyond us extends a universe founded on the bones of ancient suns, our bodies composed of that very same star material. It is a truth most astounding. We are not just in the universe, but the universe itself is woven within us, within each breath we take, in the rhythm of our beating hearts. This connection infuses us with a significance that defies our physical smallness. Every atom in your body sings a cosmic legacy, telling tales of fiery stardust alchemy that crafted compounds complex enough to contemplate their own existence. Yet, while we are heirs to cosmic ancestry, our planet's harmony hangs delicately in the balance. As stewards of Earth, it befalls us to foster kindness, not just toward each other, but toward the only world we know to sustain life. The beauty and fragility of our existence compel us to forge a future not just of survival, but of flourishing interconnectivity. In grasping this, one can't help but be imbued with a reverence, a humility that overshadows our perceived significance. This vast cosmic theater has seen acts of unspeakable cruelty, conflicts arising from patchwork domains across this dot we inhabit. Yet, the universe looks on unfazed by our disputations, paralleling our brief existence against an unyielding timeline of cosmic events. Can you feel the weight of this? The responsibility it brings? It is a pivotal moment of reckoning a call to treat each other and our planet with a reverence such understanding commands, a plea for empathy and planetary guardianship. How to internalize this awareness? Recognize the shared ground beneath your feet, forged from interstellar gifts. Walk in the full knowledge that your existence is a chapter in an untold story written in the language of the cosmos. With every glance at the stars, remember your heritage not as isolated beings, but as a community bound by a shared destiny. It's compelling, isn't it? Let's not keep this awakening to ourselves. If you've been drawn into this exploration of the cosmos and feel a newfound connection, I invite you to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Join our community where the pursuit of cosmic wisdom isn't just an interest it's a way of life. Together, we'll continue to unravel the mysteries that resonate in the fabric of our being. As we venture into this cognitive voyage, consider the intersection of science and spirituality. It captures a sentiment oft echoed by poets and philosophers a like that in understanding the cosmos, one cannot help but come to terms with the profound and intrinsic relationship we have with it. A spiritual experience, some may note, not tethered solely to religious artifacts or sanctified spaces, but deeply rooted in the empirical tapestry of the universe we call home. It's at moments like this, as we ponder our connection to the stars and galaxies afar, that we flirt with the divinian experience amplified by the recognition that the same elements coursing through celestial bodies are the very architects of life as we know it. As we reach the end of this narrative thread, let's challenge ourselves with a salient question. What actions from this cosmic contemplation shall we implement into our lives? The answer, my friends, lies within the stardust of your being always evolving, always expanding, forever a part of this remarkable universe. Remember to keep gazing upwards, and never lose your sense of wonder. Because every time you look at the night sky, you're not only viewing the universe, you're seeing a reflection of the grandeur within you. Thank you for journeying with me through the stars and the depths of human significance. May this knowledge inspire you to live with purpose, curiosity, and an endless thirst for the wisdom waiting just beyond the horizon. Greetings, gentlemen. Imagine a man whose philosophy reshaped not only martial arts but also the mindset of millions. Today, we dive into the life of Bruce Lee a name synonymous with unparalleled martial artistry and profound life insights. Bruce Lee's remarkable journey began on November 27, 1940. From early on, his fervor for martial arts was undeniable. His relentless dedication led him to master multiple fighting disciplines, including Wing Chun, boxing, and fencing. 
but at 18, a light bulb moment led to a blend of these arts, forging the revolutionary combat system Jeet Kune Do. This not only showcased physical prowess but manifested his belief in adaptability and self-expression. Lee famously said, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. This philosophy of fluidity of being powerful yet pliable, fierce yet flowing echoed across all aspects of his life. Lee saw water as the ultimate metaphor. It could be gentle, yet it had the power to carve through stone. His approach? Be soft, flexible, and adapt to curveballs life throws at you. Bruce Lee's mindset translated into a martial discipline that was about more than just fighting. It was about being transparent with oneself no easy task. Lee strived for a natural unnaturalness, a balance between gut instinct and controlled precision. This balance was the secret to his charismatic on-screen presence and off-screen authenticity. Contrary to his on-screen persona, Bruce Lee was staunchly opposed to senseless violence. He hoped his film served as a dialogue on violence as a means to explore its roots and repercussions. In the face of adversity, Lee advocated for psychological and spiritual preparedness. Learn the art of dying, he said, not as a morbid obsession, but as a path to liberating oneself from fear and ambition. Hollywood couldn't ignore Lee for long. His talent exploded onto the American film scene in 1971 with the release of The Big Boss. His charisma and physical prowess were undeniable, leading to unforgettable performances in The Way of the Dragon, Fist of Fury, and many more. These films were more than dazzling displays of martial artistry, they were cross-cultural bridges, opening dialogues between the East and the West. Lee often pondered his identity, hesitating to confine himself within nationalistic borders. He preferred to view himself as a human being, first and foremost, advocating for the idea of a universal family. His thoughts harbored dreams of unity and transcended the perceived limitations of ethnicity and culture. For Bruce, the currency of success wasn't money or fame, but authenticity. He broke away from mimicry or imitation and flourished by being Bruce Lee nothing more, nothing less. This self-awareness and confidence didn't arrive overnight but evolved through deep introspection and real-world experience. His ability to adapt, to stay fluid like water, enabled him to fit without losing his essence, whether in Hong Kong or Hollywood. Lee's philosophy fused life and art seamlessly. His pocketbook, a reservoir of philosophical musings, workout routines, poetry, and self-affirmations, was a testament to this. He chronicled every punch every facet of his life with meticulous dedication. And in these notes, we find the seeds of his philosophy, a belief in self-knowledge as the root of all wisdom. Lee's evolution is a shining example of personal growth, crafting a legacy that endures today. His words, knowing is not enough, we must apply, ring true more now than ever. The act of expressing oneself, whether in rage or serene determination, was core to his teachings. Beyond martial arts, Lee's artistic soul found solace in poetry. His introspective verses reflect his internal flame, a drive to be wholly consumed in the pursuit of one's dreams. His work, like the poem The Silent Flute, speaks to self-reliance, the unwavering spirit to ignite one's journey with one's essence. In a twist of fate, Bruce Lee's flame was extinguished on July 20, 1973, at just 32. His death sent shockwaves far beyond the martial arts community. His legacy remains immortal a source of inspiration for those seeking mastery of not only their bodies but their lives. Now, as we honor this icon, take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and ring the notification bell. Imbibe Bruce Lee's ethos into your life, and who knows, you might become unstoppable in harnessing your full potential, just like the legend himself. As we reflect on Bruce Lee's legacy, let's ask ourselves what can we take from his teachings to apply to our own lives? What action, inspired by his insights, will we commit to undertaking? Let your answers shape your path to greatness. Gentlemen, our exploration of Bruce Lee's life a blend of martial arts mastery and deep, resonant philosophy has only scratched the surface. His insights into personal freedom, expression, and the fluidity of life remain as relevant today as they were in his time. And, as we close this chapter, let's carry forward the spirit of being like water formless, adaptable, and powerful. Stay strong, stay wise, and never stop evolving. Until our next adventure farewell.